Hi, I'm Kennedy from Chaotix, and today we're going to be talking about market research online communities, or MROCs, and why major brands use them to generate consumer insights. So you're telling me we're not making a video about rock and roll communities? Absolutely not. We're talking about MROCs, Market Research Online Communities, M-R-O-C. This is very awkward. Yeah, yeah it is. All right, Kennedy, why don't you explain to our audience what an MROC is, because I prepared for a very different topic. A market research online community is a space where brands gather customers, users, or members of the public for the purpose of conducting market research and generating consumer insights. They use these communities to run surveys, polls, moderated discussions, and focus groups with segmented audiences. Can I ask a question? Absolutely. How does a research community differ from a survey panel? That's a good question. Online communities are the hubs that allow brands to manage the members they want to learn from. Members have rich profiles and can be easily grouped based on the brand's needs. Essentially, MROCs are the evolution of survey panels. Having a market research online community gives brands the option to run a much wider variety of market research activities. It also gives them control over who they want to learn from, the incentives that are used, and the data that's gathered. Okay, so online market research communities are essentially pools of customers that are willing to complete surveys or participate in discussions or focus groups for a brand. Exactly. Organizations can get quick answers to questions that help inform business decisions, and they can do it without needing to go through an agency or a panel provider. Kennedy, this seems kind of like a no-brainer, especially for large organizations who have sub-brands. Why do I get the sense that this isn't as common as it should be? Well, it's not that there aren't global brands doing this already, because there are. But historically, these communities are really just panels. These panels are lists of people who get a link to a survey, and when they complete it, they're compensated with monetary rewards or entered to win a prize. The world of MROCs has really started to evolve, and modern market research communities really feel more like social networks. We're starting to see brands make community a part of their research and insights program much earlier on, something that comes right after their Series A. How do brands get people to participate in these communities? So those basic incentives like monetary rewards might still be used, but it's not always necessary. Organizations who offer their customers a place to contribute their opinions are rewarded with feedback and insights, especially when organizations prove that they're listening and take action on that research. When a community is filled with interesting things to do, people are more likely to return regularly, which makes research easier and more effective. Well, I know a lot more about MROCs than I did before this conversation, but did you know that in 1998, David Bowie launched an internet service provider called BowieNet, one of the original online rock communities. This is still not a video about rock communities. <sighs> all right, all right. Well, subscribe to this channel for more community content, and maybe one day we'll make a video about online rock communities. Thanks. You know, early on, famous web community The Well was powered primarily by Grateful Dead fans. Ugh.